Hello virtual racers. How would you like to improve your race room experience? Well, I've got just the app for you, OtterHUD, and this video I'm going to tell you all about it. Ok, just before we dive into the new OtterHUD UI, I thought I would show you the original HUD configuration that comes when you first fire race room up. Of course at the top is that big solid information bar. That's the one part of the original UI that I don't really like. I think it's too big. I don't like the fact that it's quite uh, bold. It's, it sort of jars a little bit with the new dark look that Race Room has been going for with its recent uh, updates and new builds. And also, if you want to know where your position is, you want to know your position relative to the cars around you, you've got to keep looking up to the top of the screen. And I find that a little bit distracting. The rest of the UI though does work nicely. On the left hand side you've got your interactive trap map so you know what's coming up next, you know where your competitors are and where the pit lane is. And then over on the far right you've got your little data panel there. It's got your DRS, your push to passes, your gears, your tyres, your fuel and your damage. So that is your standard configuration and that's it you can turn various elements on and off but you can't move anything and you can't really adjust anything which is where OtterHUD comes in and that's what I'm going to show you next okay just before we get OtterHUD up and running there are a couple of small steps you will need to take first in Steam you will need to add a little bit of code to the launch options and then for me, I use the Crew Chief integration, so you will need to go into the HUD options and tick the box for Web Hub integration. Once you've got those two things sorted, then Otter HUD will run each time you run Race Room Racing Experience. The links to all the information and all the FAQs on how to set that all up will be included in the link in the description to the developer's forum post. And here it is, OtterHUD in action. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. This isn't what it looks like normally. This is a test mode. This allows you to look at all the UI, all the HUD, all the widgets and all the information that OtterHUD is able to display using the uh, race room telemetry outputs. As you can see, there is absolutely everything and anything you could ever need, want or use. It's fantastic. So when you actually come to de designing your own HUD, your own UI layout, you can pick and choose from any one of these elements and set them up in any way you like. And that is what we're going to do next. I'm going to show you my HUD layout. And finally, here we are in my Otter HUD UI setup. Nice and clean, nice and minimal, and it just gives me the information that I need for the racing that I do. One of the big things that uh, I like about Otter HUD that you don't get in the standard HUD is the car radar app. I've got mine set on the right hand side of the screen. That is fantastic. I race on an ultra wide, so I don't have the best field of view. So this just tells me what's going on up close and personal, what's directly behind, left or right to me. That little radar car app, which is very similar to the Heli Corsa app for Assetto Corsa, which I've also made a video for, link in description, plug plug. That is just probably worth the admission fee alone. Right, moving on to the other elements that I use. I have retained the information bar along the top, but as you can see, it's smaller. It is a far more subtle look to it. it you know, it's got a translucent look, so it doesn't get in the way of the screen, of the cockpit, of the view. I only use it to give me information like uh, in when I'm online, it's what the strength of field is, incident point limit, how many incident points I've got, and how long the session has got left to run. It's information I don't need to see on a lap-by-lap -lap basis. When I do need it, I can just quickly look up, reference it, look back, and carry on with the racing. The actual crucial information I keep 
lower down and to the side so that it's in my peripheral vision. And the biggest thing is on the left hand side is I have my uh, position, relatives and uh, driver information box. And that's what I that's what I use most of the time. I refer to that to see where I am. That gives me relatives to the car in front and behind. So that gives you the bigger picture. So you can tell if a car is closing, gaining, whether you're gaining on the cars in front. Brilliant, that is. And then down in the bottom right hand corner in the same position as the uh, original race room HUD is my gears. Uh, I, I have the throttle inputs on. That's down there is fuel. I don't tend to run uh, pit stop races or long races, so I don't uh, have the tire information there. That also in there normally would be a little fuel bar. Brilliant. Just a little simple little bar with a figure at the bottom so you know exactly at a quick glance how you're doing fuel wise. But here is the real it's a real selling point for Otterhud. Is it this is completely configurable. If I click on this little button here, here we go. Look at this. There's not only can I turn on things like TV tower, track info, but you've also got sub menus on top of that so i can specifically show on track info i can show corner names i can show track details yeah, it's brilliant so say i was going to do a long race i wanted to do pit stops so i need to know about my tires click on tires and hey presto i've got the tire app really detailed pressures temperatures but if i wanted to put it over with my other hud information I simply click it, you get this grid formation, you drag it over, bang, there it is. That is what is so good about Otterhud. Everything is, is movable, everything you can turn things on and off to suit what you want to do. Now, that's not the only thing. If I click it and hold it, scroll with the mouse wheel, I can make it bigger or I can make it smaller. Absolutely fantastic. So I can find a little position for that everywhere and anywhere. You also have the option to create three different presets. So, you know, for open wheel, closed cockpit, endurance, sprint, you can have a screen that has the layout you want. You simply click it, bang. There's your preset layout that you've already worked out. So you don't have to do this every time for every different type of race. Otter HUD, you know, it, it is a must have UI app for race room. It's, it's completely free. The, the developer has put together an absolutely brilliant little lightweight app. It's something I always use when I use race room and I think, you know, if you're a heavy race room user, this is this is the app you've got to at least try it out. I'll have a link to the uh, developers forum post on the Sector 3 uh, forums. It's so in-depth. There's YouTube tutorials. There's breakdown step-by-step -step guides with pictures. Um, you know, any issues, any problems. I'm sure if you post a reply up there, somebody will get back to you and give you uh, a helping hand. But, you know, I, I love this app. Hats off to the developer. Thank you very much. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this uh, look at uh, another one of my must-have apps. This was Otterhud for Race Room Racing Experience. As always, if you have enjoyed it, please consider to give the video a like. That would be absolutely fantastic. It really helps me get these uh, videos out to as many of us in the sim racing community as possible. Okay, until I see you in the next one, race hard, race fair, bye-bye.